these cats out. People are waiting. It's 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 not frothing, boss. It's it's flat. No froth. Yeah, look. Completely flat, you say? Yeah. Give me a try of that. Marty. Yeah. You know what? What? This is pretty good. Yeah. I think what we do is we serve it up and we call it flat coffee. So I want? Yeah, that's what I said. Oh. I reckon this would go pretty well with this new dessert I invented. Yeah? I call it pavlova. Butter. Okay, so that's probably not what happened, but we are still talking about Australia slash Kiwi's favorite coffee beverage, the flat white. Today, I'm gonna to give you a guide on what it is and how to brew it. Let's get into it. G'day, my name's Josh and I'm here at the Coffee Science and Education Center. Today, we're looking at the flat white. What is the myth? What is the legend? I'm telling you, Australia made it first. Myth has it, the Australian parliament actually released the flat white officially. It was in the newspapers, everything, 1986, look it up. New Zealand claims that 1989, a barista failed a cappuccino and that's how the flat white was born. The truth is, that there is no real official standards on how to make the flat white. I'm not here to start any fires, but what we're gonna do is show you how we at Seven Miles make the flat white. So first, we'll start with the ceramic cup. This cup here, I would normally use a single shot. It's about 160 to 180 mil. For this cup, this would normally take a double shot. This is about 300 to 350 mil. Now, when it comes to shots, you can look at our previous video. We talk about espresso shots there, links in the description, but otherwise you can talk to your roaster and find out the best recipe for your coffee. The next step is steaming the milk. A flat white's milk has the slimmest of microfoam textures. You add just enough air that you're folding the milk, but not so much air with your intent to froth it. The exact timing varies with the amount of milk and the machine steam one that you're using but usually you only want a few seconds of that kissing sound. Now, if you want to get help with that silky milk texture, look at one of our other previous videos, link is also in the description, and we'll take you through that step-by-step -step process. Now, the result on a flat white milk is about a five mil thin layer of foam. Less than a latte or a cappuccino, but still enough foam to give you that creamy texture and even do some pretty patterns on it if that's your thing. So what is the difference between a latte and a flat white? You might have that question. Well, lattes here in Australia are normally served in a glass. They have a bigger volume, and so therefore you get a milkier, creamier end product. When you're talking flat whites, they're normally served in a cup. When it comes to takeaway cups, not a big difference. Usually it might be dictated by the amount of foam that you use. But when someone asks me for a flat white or a latte in a takeaway cup, they're practically the same thing here in Australia. So let's quickly go through the whole process. First of all, grind our coffee. Distribute and tamp that. Use a single shot for the small cup. Two shots for the large cup. Steam the milk, adding just a small amount of air right at the start, just slightly expanding it. Pour that milk and you're good to go. Now I know that there are plenty of ideas on how to make the best flat white. Some people serve it with a double ristretto shot. Other people make it dead flat, no foam at all. Some people make it the same as a latte, serve in a cup, and then call it a day. But in the end, you need to make a flat white that tastes best for you or best for your customer. In the comments below, let us know what flat white you like and how you like it served. Give us your tips and tricks. We'll be so interested to hear them. But till then, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna go and jump in the DeLorean. So see you next time.